peace and love family it's your girl six the goddess and keep in mind i'm a goddess and i'm sensitive about my shift hope you all are doing well i am doing amazing so this video came across my desk and it was cringe level 1000 i'm just warning y'all now it is cringe beyond belief okay and I want us to break it down because, you know, we're not going, we're going to look at the bigger picture here. This video we're about to show speaks to a bigger issue in the way that the, the women are thinking present day. And even worse, when they get validated in the best way, which is to get married with this toxic form of thinking. So I'm not going to really explain too much. All I'm going to say is that this video is going to be about a woman talking to her husband about buying a home. Now, what's wrong with that? You know, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Let me premise this before we start this video. Okay. Um, I am 100% on board with the man being the provider, the man being a protector 100%. You know, if you choose to run your household that way, when you go ahead and lock it in with a man, but there's a certain way you have to go about it. And there are certain things I've been saying for a long time that a lot of women have got upset with me for speaking that way. But I will continue to stand by the reality that a lot of women today treat their husbands as props. I have seen married women on the internet look their husband in their face and not refer to him as my husband or his name, but literally refer to him as a provider. And it's very difficult to combat this when the men are sitting there looking stupid, allowing it. So I'm not going to talk too much more. Let me go ahead and put this up here. Let me put this like this and just watch. Get ready for cringe. Now, kids, those are some good push gifts. We can, you know, oh, wait, Shaquille left save to work. Yeah. Marriage, you have to get us a house. You have to buy us a house. Okay. I will have to buy it. Mm -hmm. so I could it was at this moment he knew he yeah. okay and you know it's so crazy because this woman has the look of the quote unquote safe route you know the woman that dressed classy you know probably college educated this is the the type of woman that men swear like this is the formula this is the key like once she has that, I know that she's eligible. And then they realize, you know, I don't know at what point are men going to learn to kind of assess a woman on a case by case basis, because so many men think they have a formula. You know, she dressed like this or she got this tattoo or she did that and, and be thinking that they got the woman figured out based upon that. And I try to tell men all the time, it'd be the ones you least expect that purposely present themselves as Oh no, you don't got to worry about me. They do that on purpose to deflect from their real evil and manipulative ways. So at this moment is when he knew. He knew he messed up at this moment. Okay. Say my husband bought me a house. So you don't want to have no parts in helping me buy the house? I mean, I'll be on the deed. How does that work? Oh, it works every day in marriages. You've been married before? In other people's marriages I know about. Their husband bought them a house, a car. Look at her smirking. My thing, my first question to this is, did Buddy, like, Buddy, how did you end up marrying this woman? Like, why? This is what I mean by people divorce because they don't have very important conversations before getting married. Y'all just run down the aisle treat marriage as though it's something you go to the store and pick up. Like, where is the marriage? I have a marriage. Like, it's like it's an item. <laughs> and it's like, what are y'all not understanding? You are agreeing to be with this person for the rest of your life until you die, no matter what. And y'all, you married this woman and didn't even have a conversation about her thoughts and feelings towards a home. You know, and again, the issue is not that she wanted him to buy a home. I'm going to talk about the issue behind it. But 
The fact that conversations like this are not had prior to saying I do blows me. Y'all just begin married just to get married. I just sit back like, Lord, now I see why 80% of people are getting up out of there because 80% of people that got married shouldn't have. Like, I wish people would just chill and wait till it's right. Y'all just be doing things and end up looking dumb like this. That's crazy. I mean, especially if I'm pushing out kids, those are some good push gifts. Can you know? Doubling down. I'm just stuck on the buying, buying you a house. Yes, I that's know, a house. Buy, you said you. You uh, said she sure did. And there's where the problem lies. Okay. She 100% looked that grown man in her eyes and said, Buy me a house. Buddy, sir, she don't look at you as a man. She don't look at you as a husband. You are a provider. That's what you are. Okay. Period. Okay. You messed up. You know, I don't know that this is so embarrassing. Like, I don't even want to put this on the internet. Like, this is embarrassing. Like, you looking kind of crazy out here. She 100% said, buy me a house. That's crazy. So she's like, yeah, give me the money. Let me go buy the house. And you throw you in a closet in a cellar somewhere. Don't, oh, him? That's just my provider. Don't worry about him. Anyway, welcome to my house. Like, this is what these women are doing. Y'all falling for it because they have the social status or the look that you think you got it figured out. When will they learn? They buy my wife a house. Yeah. This is this is this is who I am. <laughs> I have no words. She doubling down on it. She think it's funny. She's like, <laughs> this is who I am. Oh, you know, this might be a case of the good old bait and switch. You know, that's what I'm thinking. This might be. Now that I'm looking more into this. After further review, this is giving bait and switch situation. Maybe prior to the marriage, she was like, you know, with the whole teamwork, make the dream work, you know, build you up type of energy. And then maybe once she went ahead and got him to sign a death row, now she like, gotcha, bitch. So I don't know. I don't know. But either way, damn. Keep thinking. Keep thinking. Let's 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 think at home. It's right to her. As long as we, you know, continue. It's funny to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, sis, like, read the room, sis. Do you not see this man over here looking sick right now? And she's like, this is who I am. Yeah, go ahead and think about it. Like, she, it's just like going over her head. So this is part of the problem in any relationship. In any relationship, it's not about just you. Married, unmarried. Whether it's a friendship, whether it's your, your parent, it doesn't matter. Okay. A relationship should never be. You are just going to do this for me because I exist. Okay. And because I exist, I need you to do this. It doesn't work that way. Okay. Relationships are two way streets. They're meant to be reciprocal. They're meant to benefit both parties. Okay, I tell the fellas the best advice I can give to y'all because it seems like y'all do not uh, ask the proper questions. I'm tired of y'all complaining about how you got took up through there and oh, she switched it up. And the truth is, y'all don't be asking the stuff that's really important to ask. That's how you're ending up in situations like this. Uh, the first problem is a lot of men nowadays feel as though they can't learn anything about women from women, which is actually crazy to me because I don't care who a man is. I don't care how many women he's been with. I don't care how much he swears he understands the way women think. You're not a woman. OK, when I'm looking for advice from a man, I'm when I'm looking for advice about men, I'm going to go to a man. because I know that no matter how much I may understand them, I don't have his brain. I don't think the way he thinks. But the key is going to someone of the opposite sex that doesn't have a dog in the fight, unbiased, where a man who will give me good advice, like I'm not going to give you the advice in order to appease me. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Men got to do the same thing because half of the times it should have been your mama but a lot of y'all mama didn't even have no game. So now you listening to the podcast and listening to men that bought their women about the game on women. That's why y'all getting took up through there. The number one question you have to ask women before you walk them down that aisle are questions like, do you think that not being happy 
is a reason to divorce because this woman right here, I'm telling you right now, if she does not get this house and what she wants out the marriage, since she has made this marriage singular, buy me a house. You know, her response was not, you know, um, I would like for you to begin to purchase a home for our family because I'm excited to have your children. I'm excited to give a, a nurturing, a healthy home for our family. That's totally different saying, oh, baby, you know what? I'm thinking that maybe it's time for us to go ahead and start looking to invest in a home and some property. I'm ready to expand our family. I love you. I'm excited about this journey. That's the kind of attitude you have to look for. But that whole buy me a house because I want to be able to say that my husband bought me a house. This is what I see. Okay. I work with hundreds of women one-on-one, -on -one, and this is what I see consistently, is they take the united value out of the marriage and reduce it down to what this man can do to benefit me, what this man can do to advance me. Then they wait until they already make the man sign a death row, wait until he already is waist deep in the game, and then they're gone. And then the other side of this is on his behalf, too. Is he saying things like, so you don't want to help me buy the house? Now, a lot of women got upset with me when I say, listen, the truth is, if you are not a reward woman, which is a type of woman where your looks are at a way where once that man steps out with you, once he's seen with you, you up his social status because other men will look at him like, OK, so for him to have her on his arm Clearly, this ain't no bum. That helps men get into better circles, helps them advance. I try to be realistic and give women realistic advice. Like the truth is, Shawty, if you don't have that, you probably will have to contribute in some way, especially in the way today's economy is. Like those days of meet a man, buy me a house and a car and a Chanel bag, maybe it's not happening. Majority of people are fighting for their life. Everything is costing 10 times more. And it doesn't look like it's going to get better anytime soon, to be honest. This looks like it's going to get worse and worse. So if women are sitting around waiting on the average guy to come buying my house and a car, I mean, baby, it's just probably, it's just not going to go down that way. Uh, me personally, I don't see anything wrong with the wife helping with the down payment on a home. Um, I think it gets muddy when you talk about her going half on bills in the home. But as far as something major, like a down payment and you want your name on the deed as well, I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't think that's healthy to tell women, no, he needs to purchase the whole thing on his own. Like if he can, great. If the woman is able to contribute, that probably is going to be best. And that's just being realistic for 2023. OK, so. He's messing up like you don't want to help me buy the house. Is that how you ended up with this woman? I'm not sure who this woman is or what her career status is, but this is how a lot of fellas end up shooting themselves in the foot because you're looking for a sign if I can't other. You're looking for a woman to put you on and help you in money and business. You're looking for a teammate instead of a helpmate. And that's where a lot of men go wrong. You're trying to cheat the system and get with a woman that's going to help you buy a house. And that's not the way women essentially help a man. Your woman helps you by building, making building for yourself easier. You see what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's, it's a woman is not going to sit and roll her sleeves up and build with you. So literally building with a man is more so I'm going to make life easier for you so that when you're out building yourself as a man, you, you're less stressed. You don't have to worry about the small stuff. You know, I'm not going to get in your way of building. But a lot of fellas, they lose their leverage once you let that woman know that you need her help. OK, and it's good to have those uncomfortable adult conversations before I do. Hey, when it's time to purchase a home, how do you feel about down payments? How do you feel about whose name things will be in? You have some couples who don't want both of their names on the deed because let's say the house goes into foreclosure. Now, both of you have a foreclosure on your record. I've seen it be better where you may put the home in one person's name. That way, if something happens, the other partner still has a clear record. Like everybody got to make a decision for themselves. But to marry someone and not have conversations about expectations for Things like down payments on property, which is like one of the biggest things that you'll one of the biggest assets you'll invest in as a married couple is crazy to me. This is why the divorce rate is high. It's not high because marriage is a bad thing. It's high because people get married just to say they're married. 
It's high because people get married for a look. It's high because people get married because of societal pressures. And then if you really would have taken your time to get to know this person and have those conversations, you would never have walked down that aisle. So, you know, ladies, if you feel that way and you feel like buy me a house through that, honestly, you're better off just going a sugar baby route. You don't need to be a wife. You don't need to get married. You know, we're not at that place where women need to get married to survive anymore. So if you have a single mindset, if you have an individualistic mindset of I just want a man to buy this for me and do this for me. Go get a sugar daddy. You know, stop treating your husbands like sugar daddies. Okay, you messing the game up. That's why y'all got these men scared to death right now to say I do, honey. And I don't blame them because when I see stuff like that, I'm like, ooh. And at the same time, fellas, y'all got to be more careful and you got to be more safe out there. It's not what you do; it's how you do it, ladies. And you get more bees with honey than vinegar. Y'all, let me know y'all thoughts in the comments, fellas. How would you feel if your wife came to you like, buy me a house? Ladies, do you see anything wrong with what she said? Do you think she's within her rights to say that? Y'all let me know what you think. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And now a word from our sponsor. So we are here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. And there is a new salon in town that I've gotten word is black owned, honey. So we're about to go check it out and see what services you can get done today. So, so when I went inside, customer service was impeccable, very friendly, everything was clean, girly. They even do like bridal shower and events. The makeup room is spectacular. Um, she really just poured into my face and um, she said that you can book online, you can call. As you can see, it came out incredible. I will definitely be back. You could not tell me nothing. They took such good care of me. I highly recommend y'all gotta check out the beauty bag in Lawrenceville.